In this tutorial, we will show you how to round off time calculations in Excel. Over here we have two columns, in which the first column is for the starting date, and the second one is for the ending date. We can calculate the difference between them very easily by subtracting the end date from the start date. For that, write is equals to B2 minus A2, and hit enter. To round off the results to the nearest day, for example, we will use the mRound function. For that, write is equals to M round, bracket open, C2, comma, 1, bracket close. The rest of the columns can be filled using autofill. Notice how the values are automatically rounded off to the nearest digit. 3,689 hours and 26 minutes actually makes 153.7 days, but the output here shows 154 days. Now let's round off to the nearest hour. For that, write is equals to M round bracket open C2, comma, inverted commas open, 1, colon, 0, 0, inverted commas close, bracket close. For rounding off the values to the nearest 15 minutes, write, is equals to M round, bracket open, C2, comma, inverted commas open, 0, colon, 1, 5, inverted commas close, bracket close. Compare column F with column C over here, and you will see that it gets rounded up to the nearest 15 minutes. You can apply the ceiling function instead of the M round function for rounding off values as well. For that, simply replace M round from the formula and write ceiling. Now you will see that although in cell C4 the value is 331 hours and 5 minutes, the output rounds off the value to the next 15 minutes. Similarly, the floor function will round off the values to the previous 15 minutes in this case. For that, simply edit the formula and write floor instead of ceiling. And that's it.